Hey, how's it going out there, folks? Welcome back here to a Thursday, September 26, 2024 is the date. 9.08, 9 a.m. here, California time. You're going to have to excuse me. I've been up a little early here on my way down to Southern California right now, just about an hour away from my destination there around the uh, Rancho Palo Verdes area. Missy Mimi's is here with me as well in the vehicle. How's it going, guys? So, uh... We got a little bit of earthquake activity ramping up out here today, uh, including some movement up into the Vancouver Island range up there where we've seen a little earthquake activity this morning. This is going to be this earthquake outside of uh, Vancouver. 4.0 coming in, fairly deep as well, about 32 miles deep here, associated with the uh, Cascadia subduction zone here, the northern end. Following that movement uh, earlier, uh, we've seen a handful of earthquakes as well at the southern end of the Cascadia, although off of the Cascadia subduction zone, a couple smaller earthquakes here uh, outside of Petrolia. This earthquake striking about an hour later following that four-pointer up north. So 2.6 down south there. Today, some older movement. Uh, actually, it looks like there was a, a handful of earthquakes here within about a minute of each other, 3.0, and then also uh, this other earthquake here, 2.6. Down in my neck of the woods right now, Southern California, uh, not a whole lot of major earthquake activity. Hopefully it stays that way. It's going to be a little scary going down here, knowing the potential uh, that exists down here in Southern California, but I guess that's a chance we all take here across the uh, planet due to natural hazards and disasters that exist pretty much everywhere. Uh, a couple of smaller earthquakes out here outside of Los Angeles region, uh, Fontana area here eastern area of the region down south here. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. I may have to stop and get me a, a mouse. I forgot my mouse at home, so I'm on my laptop here just using the keyboard, and I think we all know how it can be a little glitchy in that aspect of things, but I'll try and do my best here preventing that from happening. A little swarm of activity here around the Fontana area this morning as well. Um, it looks like mainly some twos and ones here. See if I can zoom in here across this area. Outside of Bloomington, this is the secondary Fontana swarm area. And we got about 11 earthquakes here. The majority of those happening this morning. Uh, stirring up at about 2.25 a.m. local time here. So just kind of keeping an eye on things. Um, obviously, with the elevated activity here recently, anything can happen at any given time. Um, I'm going to be down here across the Rancho Palos Verdes area. That's going to be my first stop looking at some uh, infrastructure of the surrounding areas and find out what's going on with all the landslides down there recently and uh, erosion. And then we're going to head up to the Malibu area and check out the Malibu Coast Fault. So we'll be going live uh, from those two areas once we are in position. But I wanted to do just a quick update here on earthquake activity. Uh, and... Um, you know, right now it's just generally light out here, but uh, there is a slight uptick as we've seen here across Southern California with that little swarm and up north there, uh, Northern California and the four pointer up into the, the um, Vancouver area. Far as worldwide activity goes here, yeah, I'm gonna have to stop and get me a mouse here. <laughs> Goodness, I haven't used a little keypad here in a long time, so it's a little irritating. Nothing big going on around the globe for now. Uh, in fact, the largest earthquake activity out here in the uh, last 24 hours is going to be this 5.5 earthquake into Japan. Uh, 36 miles deep here into the northern end of the Japan Trench. One minute after midnight local time here. So we'll continue to keep an eye here on the west coast. Uh, hurricane activity, goodness, I'm starting to hear some bad things there about uh, Hurricane Helene, how it could be maybe up even to the Category 5 hurricane level. Now, current conditions here. Let's go ahead and check this out from the National Hurricane Center. This this is the official site here showing Hurricane Helene maximum sustained winds of 105 miles per hour gaining strength rapidly. It is expected to reach into the Category 4 strength. We'll check out the model guidance here in just a minute. Moving off to the north-northeast at about 14 miles per hour, so it is getting pulled up into the weather patterns up here, uh, where we are expecting it to make landfall 
Um, sometime later, late afternoon today uh, for the Florida Panhandle, you can see there, hurricane warnings in the red, tropical storm warnings in the blue. Uh, fairly big deal. A lot of storm surge potential out there from the system as well. Potential for flash flooding. Uh, you name it. Not a good idea to be out there um, sticking this one out. Uh, this is a, a very scary situation. As uh, far as, uh, let's see what we got here. I want to check out the current storms here from Tropical Tidbits. They have a, a neat little uh, model guidance and a whole bunch of other maps to look at. Here's the model guidance, the intensity guidance. Now, a lot, actually, a lot of this is back down here. Um, from it being a Category 4, Category 5 to uh, what well, looks like maybe a Category 2 now. You see that? How did that back down so quickly there? Um, is this the most recent weather model? It looks like it is. That's uh, rather odd. Because last night, early this morning here, we had uh, some um, storm chasers out there sharing some weather models that were showing it uh, as a Category 5 potentially. So one, we'll, we won't know until obviously we get uh, through the day today and see how rapidly uh, this hurricane strengthens. Now here is the latest infrared image of Hurricane Helene. Notice the area of circulation right there starting to develop an eye wall uh, right about here. It doesn't have much time uh, to strengthen here. So next few hours is going to be very... Uh, gonna have to watch this pretty closely it could rapidly intensify or it could just remain uh, as is with some slight strengthening but it's a uh, it's a dandy of a storm so stay safe out there for the folks that are out in Florida again I'm out here in uh, California Southern California we're heading down to Southern California here and uh, gonna check out a couple regions down here uh, of uh, interest when it comes to earthquake activity space weather not a whole lot of major activity going on out here right now we are expecting uh, uh, some stronger flaring from a couple different regional sunspots that are coming around the eastern limb gonna be uh, off of 38 36 here and a newer sunspot that's coming around I don't think we can see it yet but let me double check here on the magnetogram image uh, currently on I-5 out here I don't know where we're at we rode uh, most of the Great Valley Thrust Fault out here, uh, which I-5 um, out of Sacramento travels down. Uh, beautiful area. I mean, there's not a whole lot out here, but uh, you can see the well-defined folds in the land from the Great Valley Thrust Fault that exists out here. And uh, like I said, we pretty much rolled, rode that all the way down here to where we're at. Uh, north of, uh, well, we're about... An hour and a half outside of Los Angeles right now. So there's the uh, current sunspot capable of producing some flaring, although not quite as dynamic as yesterday, and a handful of uh, sunspots around the bend as well. Uh, either way, these do harbor some potential of some stronger flaring out there. We'll definitely keep an eye on it. Uh, flare threat level right now exists at a 20% uh, chance for X flare, M flare at 55% chance, C flare at 99% chance or so. And uh, there's our aurora activity from last night. Looks like things have tapered off here quite a bit uh, in terms of the aurora potential. Uh, nothing major in the forecast for that for right now. Might be a little bit of unsettled conditions through the, the evening tonight uh, in terms of the aurora viewing. But aside from that, things are uh, toning down out here. All right, so uh, again, we'll be back here. Uh, looks like my microphone was way up in the red. Hopefully it wasn't blowing you guys' speaker out. <laughs> Just noticed that. Uh, all right, so can't really do nothing about it now. We'll catch you guys out here when we go live uh, again from the Palos Verdes area first. And uh, after we talk to a few people and then find uh, an area of interest, we'll go live. So watch for that. Till then, stay safe out there, and we'll see you guys out here in a couple hours on a different live stream. Have a good day, guys. We'll be back out here. <laughs> Take care, folks. Stay safe.